everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how I pack my stained glass pieces for safe travels. If that sounds interesting to you, you can go ahead and watch. If it sounds really boring, because it kind of is, then that's okay too. <laughs> but sometimes people ask, how do you make sure your stuff doesn't break in travel? There's no 100% guarantee that something won't break, but I have yet to have anything break. So I think my method is pretty good. I also don't ship very large panels. I think the largest thing I shipped was like 11 by 17. So, but so far, so good. Enjoy. So the first thing I do is I come over to this big wall of packing materials. Um, I keep a variety of box sizes handy based on my most common sizes of sun catchers and panels. Uh, but this, this is probably one of my larger pieces. I mean, it's not very large. It's like 10 inches, I think. But I'm going to want to use a 14 by 14 by 4 inch box, so there's lots of padding around it. And then down here is where I keep, um, this is car extra cardboard from uh, packages I've received in the past. And this is the cardboard that I use to make my glass sandwiches. So I need that. And then all of this foam came in packages of glass that I've ordered. So I definitely keep this for wrapping my uh, glass pieces. And then over here, this is all uh, boxes of packing peanuts that I've saved. I have three more large bags of packing peanuts in the other room in storage just because I have so many, but it's good to recycle all these materials and reuse them. So to make my glass sandwich, I need two pieces of cardboard. I had already cut these out. Um, the first bottom piece of cardboard is a super thick double layered cardboard. I, we had bought a shed a couple years ago, so I kept that large box and just cut it down and it's come in very handy. And then the top cardboard piece is just a thinner piece. Um, if you don't have this double walled extra thick cardboard, I would cut two of these and put them together. So first I have that, and then what I do is I take this foam. I actually, I get a lot of this in um, glass packs that I order. And then I cut it down. So we get this situated. Now because this piece has um, some, I, don't know, I guess I'll call it 3D, 3D element on top, I want to cut a piece of bubble wrap just to add some protective layer.
um, when you start getting to uh, larger panels, um, that's when you want to pack the piece snugly in a box and then pack it in another box or a crate so that it's standing up. I haven't shipped anything that large yet, so when the time comes, we'll see how that goes. Luckily, nothing I've shipped has broken yet. And that's why it's important when you have larger pieces that you're packing, you want, you don't want to just wrap it in foam or bubble wrap and stick it in a box. You want something sturdy underneath that isn't going to bend on you because you don't want your glass flexing in travel. Okay, what did I do here? Oh my gosh, come on. There we go, and then I'm going to take some of these scraps. and put them underneath the vine, because there's a gap under there. Okay, and then I'll get one more piece of bubble wrap to put over the whole thing. take some packing tape and tape the sides. Next, I just like to wrap it nicely, just so it looks nice when the customer gets it. Nice little care instruction card. I ran out of my normal tissue paper, so this isn't the the best, but it's okay. There is our wrapped piece. Okay, now let's get the box together. Okay, our box is together. I don't wanna just put this in here, so I need some extra padding. Luckily, um, 
Let's see what I have over here. Got some air bubble bags. I literally save everything and my mom gives me everything that she gets from packages so I have lots of good packing material to use. Maybe we'll just put one more. Okay, now we need some packing peanuts. You want a good two inches around your entire piece. And then before I tape it, I do a little... Hmm. If it shakes at all, then I add more. And then because this is a larger box, I have this pretty personalized tape. Last thing I do, I add these glass stickers. I don't know if they help or not, but it's okay. And then weigh the package and ship it off.